need children who have them. Go away, Lavender. Seriously. This is what I put up with. I love you too. Please shut the door. Right. Now that... Mm, lucky my hair isn't wet. Hey, so before that interruption, hi, how are you? I hope you're well on Thursday. Um, I am just literally back from our morning coffee run for my husband and I have another video planned. Hey you, how are you? Um, I am back with my second video with the textures and frame stamp set by popular demand. That was um, that was asked for last week. Uh, asked for on Tuesday. Oh, from Brazil, you! I did wonder. I did wonder. Quite an unusual name. Um, and by the way, my name's Ellen Woodbridge. I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator in Australia and I am here to card make with you, be your creative coach and show you some creative ways to use the textures and frame stamp set because a lot of people struggle with these basic shapes and go, what am I going to do with them? Now, I have realised, I'll say hello to everyone in just a sec, I've realised I have two other colour challenges left that I asked for on the SU Colour Challenge group, which is um, I'm one of the founding members of that group and I'm now admin on Facebook. So if you ever want a colour challenge, we have a monthly one and you can ask for a challenge. Um these are two really challenging color challenges. So we have this is this is the four colors, and I didn't really look at it. I just grabbed two last time, and this is really quite challenging. Blushing bride, soft sea foam, crushed curry, and shaded spruce. Challenging, and my other one is not so challenging, but I'm still getting my brain going. Um, I've got Polish Pink, Just Jade and Bumblebee. So a whole selection of in colours, which is nice. I do love our current 10 in colours. So that's one. And the other four one is going to be challenging. Delinda, I thought your one was bad. But no, I have other people who like to get my brain moving and I'm going to um, try to credit who's given me those challenges before we slip ourselves around. I'm just scrolling down. So the in colour challenge is from Catherine who's quite often here. So this is from Catherine Z. So this one. Thanks, Catherine. I like this one. And Shirley Jones, who was also on the admin of um, the SU Colour Challenge group, gave me Blushing Bride, Soft Sea Frame, Shaded Spruce and Crush Curry. I'm not sure we're friends at the moment. I'm not sure. I know. I know. Your ones were great, Delinda, but I'm not sure about Shirley's. We'll see what we can do. So I do have a couple of stamp sets poking out that I thought I may incorporate with this. Um, yeah, Shirley was way naughty to Linda. That's exactly right. So let's see who's here. I haven't even had a swig of water since I got back from my walk. I didn't even have one while I was out on my walk. I did get myself a little treat though. I had a brownie. It was very, very nice. Oh, hey Angie, hey Roz, hey Kay, thank you for joining, hello Miss D, hello Samantha, oh thank you, um, you, Australia is fairly amazing, I mean not so amazing on I think it's day 77 of lockdown currently where I am, I totally missed the 11 o'clock news so I'm not sure when we're out of it, but hey we will get out of it hopefully eventually um hello miss ros thank you for sharing miss d i always appreciate those who share hello miss kathy on youtube 
Um, hello, Miss Corinne. Hello, Miss Cheryl, who snuck in there. Uh, Miss Shelley, who else called? Not called. You can call me anytime. Twice in one week, Janet. That's pretty good. Hang on. Uh, yes, it looks okay. Hello, Miss Marjean. Who else? Uh, hello, Miss Jenny. Hello, Linda. Hello, Miss Marjean. And hello, Carol. Thank you all for joining. I'm up to date now. That always makes me happy to say all the quick hellos at the front, at the front, at the start, and then we can get moving along. So as I said, I've got a few things pulled out to go with the textures and frames. Now, if you like this stamp set, it is free with purchase. So you have to spend in Australia $90 and you can choose this as one of your free products out of the celebration catalog, which of course I don't, aha out of oh I have a Miss Louisa at my feet and I didn't even realize um out of our celebration catalog so you can get lots of um lots of free things and you can also get a free bundle for joining my Wicker Woodies family my team of amazing stampers um you can get a free bundle out of our mini catalog for free so Dies and Punch, or no, sorry, Dies and Stamp or Stamp and Punch. It's okay, I will get there. Apparently I got a bit too much sun this morning. And um, are you quite right there, miss? We've just fully lied down and sighed. I hope you heard that sigh. Um, so everything's working. All the technologies are working. I am multicasting on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So I think it's time to turn around. I have the chamois, if anyone missed it at the start, I got a chamois put on my head by my eldest, the little he, they are. Hello, Miss Deb. Okay, laptop is kinda out of the way. Hello, Miss Paula. Cause of course I came home and I really, really wasn't ready but things are now falling over so you know story in my life if it's not me falling over it's my things let's flick around and let's get going yeah although she's on the floor so I really don't know how it's comfy but I think she's just glad not to be outside and walking so very soon, the way we walk today, we won't be able to because all the bindies will dry out and get caught in her uh, paw pads. So we took advantage of doing some bush bashing across the reserve uh, while we can. Hello, Miss Leanne. Yes, you guys are now having the crisis that we had. But you guys just have a few more jabs. Um, and a better jabbing program because our government dropped the ball. Sorry, guys. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. This is highly professional today. Just going to turn the camera off for a sec. I didn't realise I could literally turn the camera off. Now, how do I get the camera back on? Turn camera on. Oh my god. You learn something new every day. That I can just turn the camera off. Yes, Deb, how are you going? Sending the hugest hugs your way. Because I know you're in a pretty crappy situation not being able to be with your loved ones at the moment. Okay, I need to angle this down. Not flip the camera. Slippy fingers. Okay. I think we're good. I'm going to turn off the overhead light and we will please more with this. Okay. So at some point, I think I'm going to have to let Louisa out 
but for the moment she is really happily lying there. Okay, I think we're going to give this one a go first. So, Crush Curry, Shaded Spruce, Soft Seafoam and Blushing Bride. Now, what the hell am I going to do with them? Because, I mean, in all seriousness, these two go together as a pair because we've got the two greens. So, we can use them together as a pair. So, really, you're looking at three colours. So if we break it down, and this is what I have to do to get my brain around it, I'm looking at the green as a pair, and then I'm looking at using a yellow and a pink. And that is totally doable. But when you put them full like that, it's intimidating. So let's make it a three, three colour challenge, where we've got the greens, and then the pink or dirty pink, it's not clean pink at all, and the crush curry. And I love crush curry. I don't know if you guys know this. I do love my yellows and my oranges for a pop. Yes, well, that's what I was going to show you. These are the cards that I made on Tuesday using this set. So this was Carolina's colour challenge, and this was Delinda's. So I really... I think I love this one the best. But I also love this one, but this one is just better. I don't know what it, it's not the colours. I think it's more the design. But I like how this is fun and a bit different and a bit random. I'm wearing jeans today and they're rubbing up against my chair, making it sound like I'm farting. And I absolutely can tell you I am not. I would own it if I did. Because I live with boys, so we have to own um, this kind of thing. Except Louisa doesn't own it. She just stinks out the house. Okay, so these are two of... Oh, I'm just going to show you. And do I have a green... Do I have a blue in there? No, I don't have any blues today so I did grab the sailing home stamp set and I can add a neutral into these so with the color challenges we are totally fine adding neutral in but so I did have sailing home and I had painted poppies pulled out um hmm Thinking we might try Sailing Home to start off with and see. I am on Facebook and YouTube and Haps all at the same time, Jenny. Hello, Miss Jackie. Thank you for joining. So we're going to try Sailing Home. I need my white. Apparently, I need to add more white to my cart. And I haven't cut any more Whisper White cardstock. So what I will do now, I'll clear these off for a second. And we will grab down the trimmer. And I've got two pieces of Whisper White here. So we'll end up with eight card fronts. So because with the Whisper White, you can very easily cut two sheets at a time because it is thinner. Oh, you poor thing. Yes. And that's unfortunately all you can do, Deb, is just be there for them on the phone. I'm assuming they're streaming the funeral, so um, everyone over here can participate. My hand's going funny because I'm trying to pick something up while not falling off my chair because I like to live dangerously. Okay. So I'm just going quarter of an inch or half a centimetre smaller than an actual card base because we have different size 
card bases here well in europe and in the europe uk and the south pacific stampin up markets we have different card front sizes or different card sizes so north america has letter size and the rest of the world has a four okay so i can put those six away in there so then i have six card bases ready to rock and roll okay oops now one thing i needed to remind you about is and i have that printed out Oh, for those in the global markets, not in the US, our expressions in in colour paper pumpkin kit that the Americans had what feels like eons ago is finally available in all our worldwide markets. So you can order that from our or from my online store. I have ordered it, but with all the happenings in our distribution center there are some delays and i have also ordered oh i'm so sorry louisa i may have accidentally put my foot on her paw lie down uh and this christmas whimsy uh, card kit is also available on my online store and I have ordered some of those the tag kit isn't available just yet but the Christmas whimsy card kit and the expressions in ink are available at the moment oh very good oh I'm so glad to enable you Leanne Oh, the names of the ink. We've got Shaded Spruce, Soft Sea Foam, Crush Curry, Blushing Bride is going to be the first challenge we are going to tackle. You really want to put your snout right where the wheel of my chair is going to go. Now she's looking at me very angrily. It's like, you're in my way, not the other way round. And David's coughing a lung up because he needs a drink of water. This is a very, very messy piece of paper. Okay, so this is kind of where I want to... See, I'm thinking stripes are a bit nautical. As is... Like this, okay, I'm, I'm having an idea and I'm thinking we're going to be doing a portrait card, okay? And this, I'm thinking, is going to be some sand in crushed curry. Something we're going to sit our lighthouse on because I do love the lighthouse oh that's lovely oh that's lovely that you can be over there now i am waiting on a replacement for my crush curry ink pad because this one is not re-inking well at all because mm. it's one of those bung ink pads so I kind of don't want it full strength anyway. So that works really well, actually. So that is our crushed curry. Okay. And we don't have any blue. So we're going to do like a lighthouse on a point kind of thing is where my brain is currently going. Uh, we may just leave these open for a second. Okay. Let's just do some, kind of want to create my base and then go from there. So I 
want to go less abstract with these cards than what we did on Tuesday. Because I am actually taking my children to some not so fun appointments, I can't wipe that on my jeans because I'm going out in public. It was. I'm not sure. I was talking to Shirley last night. I don't think I'm talking to her anymore. But I do love Shirley. Shirley's a good egg. She's a good egg. Hello, Miss Bev. How are you? Okay. So I'm kind of calling this some grass, maybe. I don't know. Kind of adding this in. I'm just kind of going with what I'm feeling. Ho, ho, ho. I stamped one line. Okay, so we've done our soft sea foam. And now I'm thinking of going in between our lines with our shaded spruce. So using them as like one block of colour. And then we have our blushing bride. So I've almost used all four colours already. So feel, I feel I'm doing quite well. This one's going to be a bit off, I think. So that's kind of our green grass or a abstract look at it. So I'm thinking I have to add a neutral. So this is kind of where I'm going, is adding this here. Okay, this may end up smaller because now I kind of wish I'd put this a little higher, but, you know, hindsight. I'm kind of thinking a early espresso would look really, really nice. Ah, Corinne, you can buy this set. It's a current stamp set. Just have to purchase it. I do struggle with the sentiments, though, um, because it's such a masculine set. I love the sentiments, but I struggled to use this because let us let hope be your anchor through the storms of life. And this is a very apt stamp set because in australia it is are you okay day today so it is i think it's a charity organization please um correct me aussies um and it's a mental health initiative to just ask are you okay ah oh, that looks good it's leaning but it looks good <laughs> It's sunk in the sand on one side. Oh, yes. Very good question, Jenny. Are you talking the textures or are you talking... Um, yes. Now, we could emulate a bit of a dusky sky. We could... Um, just thinking where else I want to go. A sentiment in this might be nice. See if any of these sentiments. So these sentiments are shown at 95%. So the thanks would fit, the congrats would fit. I don't know that they will fit fit if that makes sense but I could use it um, as if I change my idea around and use this again as a base for the sentiment because I want to keep these like simple stamping Oh, 
Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That is, yeah, that is not, not good to hear. So let's just go for this, hey? I don't know. I need opinions of how you think this one's going because I'm not totally sure to tell you the truth. My husband needs to have a drink of water. He's still coughing and no, he's not sick. Uh, my, <laughs> we won't tell you how much my, um, this ink pad needs inking up at the moment, shall we? Okay. Can I get away with it? I'm not sure. I can quite get away with it. Oh, okay, that worked. I can get away with it, but I know I have to re-ink this before it goes away. So all I have used all of the colours. Are you guys impressed? I wish it was this was a bit lower. But what I can do is put my magnet back. Is like grab an aqua painter. Just trust me here. I'm just going to get the tiniest bit of water and I'm just going to see if I ah, that makes a green. Thanks, a green. Just going to pick up some of this and just see how it kind of just extends that down. I'm hoping this is kind of making sense to what I'm trying to do. Look, it looks a bit bodge, but it's better than what it was. Yes, I'm going to grab a baby wipe. I'll look at your comments in just a second. Wipe up that water. A clever use of the stamps. I knew it would be awesome. Thank you, Delinda. I know. You love the yellow base. Okay, that's good. Because it's got lots of other stamps oh, no. to work with. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of this because I got... I got a few marks I'm going to make those marks a bit more intentional actually maybe I should put a few more on the other side to emulate a, um, a setting sky I'm liking this less and less but you know we're working with what we've got Thinking I kind of want to make it shorter, for one, because I've set everything way too far down. But we could go with some birds. Once again in... Mm, green birds aren't going to work. But I think in... Sorry, Louisa. This is what you get for staying here while I craft. You get things kamikaze onto the floor. Okay, so. Oof, I got the biggest sigh ever. Which way did they go? They go 
that way. And I'm just thinking two along there. Okay, that makes it look more like a scene, adding some extra things into the sky. I think I kind of want to leave it there, really. I don't think there is anything else that could improve that scene. What I wouldn't mind doing, though, is just put a titch of water on this block because, you know, while you're playing around with something let's just play around with it a little bit more kind of want to make kind of want to make these just a little more whimsical and not as blocky Probably adding way, way, way too much water to this, but hopefully you can see them just being that bit more whimsical, which is what I should have done at the start. But you know, hindsight, I think I like that better. And I will just sop up that extra water so it doesn't get everywhere birds gray i don't want to add any more colors because this is a color challenge so i did add the one um early espresso which was my neutral but i don't hate shirley so much anymore and if we wanted to we could soften the grass hill as well but i like the proportions of the color we used so we've used um yeah because sometimes with the color challenges if you use everything in equal proportions sometimes it just don't work now i'm wearing a white shirt with some very very strong colors here and I've got ink over myself so I'm just going to bring in this baby wipe so I don't transfer any of this ink onto my person because that would be a little dangerous uh, because I wasn't very sure about this well not hate just dislike her color choices is that a better way to say it? Okay, we're, we're liking her colour choices now a lot more than what I did before. Okay, now what I could do, I could also use this stamp set and make it a really big challenge for my second lot of colours. So do you think I should stick with Sailing Home for my second card front? And then we will pop the cards together at the end because I'm going to do some stamp cleaning. So do we want to use this with this for the next card? Or did we want to change it up and add in a different stamp set? Because the other stamp set I have out has no sentiments, which once again isn't helpful, but you know. Um, I'm just going to clean my red rubber stamps with my stamp and mist. Oh, hello, Christine. Thank you for joining especially your first time a different set sailing home okay differing opinions i need a few more votes 
because you know it's normally majority rules another stamp set change it up okay we are definitely changing it up right linda did i have to say hello to you if i didn't i humbly apologize i did see you there but i just didn't get to say hi all three i'm not sure that painted poppy goes well with sailing home but look that could be a challenge in itself because i could use one of these sentiments okay right that is those cleaned now i just need to clean my two my two photo polymer sets okay and i'm going to have to use more hand sanitizer because we went through a park today the kids park onto a main road and it's got baby gates on it or pool gates we call them baby gates or well, main day we do um but it's got like the pool safety gates so hand sanitized our hands while we were out oh i did i'm so glad linda always feel rude when i go back and have a look and went oh i don't think i noticed that comment or that person please no it's not personal have a drink while i'm having a drink i'm having a think okay my thoughts are the compass goes really well with the circle right one of the sailing boats would might go well with that the knot the anchor because the anchor would go well with that could do nautical stripes down the side these are our next three colors by the way so we've got bumblebee just jade and polished pink so that's why i'm there going i'm not sure sailing home will actually work but paint poppies might and instead of using this splosh we'll use this one hmm. i don't know that i like my other choice but i think we're gonna go with it I, i'm just gonna go with it because i chose it and you've seen it and we're just going to go with it so i may just use a sentiment out of this but you've seen some of my ideas for the crossover between this set because we're going to need these blocks i have a feeling so pop these back so I'm, this is very unusual for me just to do just stamping. I'm liking it, but I'm there going, oh, I could use this and I could use that. I am human. Poppies. Okay, Corinne. Okay, I'm, I was already going there. But there is so much of this set that you could use. You can just put colour behind your yachts you could just um let me grab it you could just put this behind your yachts just to give them a pop um same you could put the anchor on a circle and to give it um to spotlight it and same with the compass so there are so many things you can do so it's a very versatile masculine set i do like it but it's actually it's not totally masculine it can go both ways so today i think we're going my going forward or landscape <laughs> i'm already having ideas already having ideas so if i go one two three or i go one two three i'm going to do portrait 
because my bauble card did go landscape with my three. The circle could look like a sun on my other card, but I could pop it like there. We'll go back. I'm still simmering on that card, and I thought I would just pop it aside and see where we go. So, polish pink. Love, love, love this colour. I just have to be a little careful because I have got ink on my block, so I'm not going to rock this block. Look how well that stamps, like seriously. So good. So, so, so good. Okay. So we're just kind of keeping it simple. Keeping it simple. So I'll pop this aside. I'm thinking because there's grass, I want to put the Just Jade at the bottom. And we may layer some of the leaves over the Just Jade. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking of a scene without doing a scene. I have ideas happening while I'm going. Now this may be cut down as well because I can't stamp centred or straight. Okay. I love how well the chamois allows me to flick in between colours. So you'll see I'm going from like, oh, look, just jade. Please tell me I didn't get any of myself. Going from Just Jade to Bumblebee. Now, Bumblebee is actually quite similar to um, Crush Curry, but it is different. It is more of a golden orange yellow than Crush Curry. Even though people think Crush Curry is quite that colour, Bumblebee is just a bit more. Now, I know these look like traffic lights at the moment, but they will not. Oh, no. By the time we're finished, they won't. Okay. May, so I'll stamp off and see if we can't go over this kind of again and try and get that piece. Look, it's a little better, but we'll camouflage it with whatever we stamp. Now, Thinking we might go in with the early espresso again. Um, I like that I have kept this fairly, fairly straight and even top and bottom. I haven't done too badly. Okay, let's grab this early espresso, which we know needs reinking, but we're resisting it. Yes, I can stamp off. That's why I stamped it off, then popped it on. Just so it wasn't so thin. Oh, Shannon, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Thank you for answering that, Jenny. Sorry, I wasn't even looking at the comments at that stage. So, I think we are going to go in, oh yes, with that, because that emulates our green. So I don't think we'll be using, they look like traffic lights at the moment. And I promise you, they won't look like traffic lights. Although I've got these two inverted if we wanted traffic lights. But anyway. Okay, not a problem, Jenny. Good luck. Um, I do hope he's okay sending our love. Oh, oh, that's so good, Shannon, that you can visit. That's awesome. Just, I hope everyone stays safe. But, yeah, it's a hard situation all around when you've got someone in hospital and the visitation. Oh, doesn't that look great? So, I suppose I'm using a lot of these images in the same way by highlighting and then using a line image over the top 
but I hope I'm doing something a bit different because everyone's done the simple stamping of doing a polka dot background and stuff like that so hoping I'm doing some different things for you because these basic shapes make awesome backgrounds and I'm really trying just to do something a little bit different okay now I don't know if I will just do this flower or whether I will do this flower which is a little smaller though this one's my favorite out of the two if I was to choose I just realized I almost have polished pink what's left in my nails yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I'm thinking if I do a sentiment on the top or if I do a sentiment, oh, see, I kind of like the pink. Okay, let's just go for it. Go for it, go for it. Pray. That looks good. That looks good. Okay. I think I'm going to have to move that one, otherwise I may lose it. I think I need more spray. My stamp and scrub is thirsty today. Okay. I sort of use lots of half. Ah, that's better. Yes, much better. Much cleaner. Much, much, much cleaner. One of each year. I was kind of thinking that as well. I was kind of thinking that as well. But I'm glad you are fine, Shannon. Um, we will think of Jenny and Mike. Unfortunately. Oh, hold on. Stamp on the floor. Yes, now covered in Louisa hair. <laughs> Cling stamps and dog hair aren't necessarily friends, but I have removed most of it, so that's good. And this one goes this way. Lucky I'm good at puzzles. <laughs> So, this is where, what sentiment, we did the set sale, but we could do let hope be your anchor, or we could just do some birds. So we could do birds, a sentiment, I don't know that the anchor works but it kind of does so hold on let me ooh, grab this off I mustn't use this stamp very often because it's still awfully sticky the cling there we go just had to grab that edge so I could like put some birds in here I could put let hope be your anchor through the storms of life which is kind of apt for the are you okay day as I said earlier so I don't think personally I don't think we need another flower but look at that because it's like we've got the leaf we've got the flower then the sentiment I'm thinking the birds still work that's awesome okay I'm thinking I'm kind of going for it. Put this flower away. May even grab out. You know, I like to live dangerously, so we might use the Stamparatus. I'm not going to use this anymore. 
I am thinking though, we've got the splatter stamp in the textures and frames and it's the one stamp I haven't inked up. So we may add some um, splatter to this card because it kind of works. Hello Miss Linda, how are you? I feel like I haven't seen you in a while, but I've got a couple of Lindas that pop in. So my memory goes, oh yes, that's Linda, but which Linda? Okay. I'm thinking I like this current layout. So the birds I will pick up, and this one for later. And this one we are living very dangerously with the dry ink pad but hmm, seems to be okay but if not we shall just live with it so leaving it there with reasonable pressure and letting the ink soak in that works well because this i'll show you this is actually textured it's textured anyway and that actually oh my god i'm so happy with that and let's add our birdie birds They are nicely inked up. I don't think we need any more birds. I just think the three there is nice. I am thinking, okay, splodges or no splodges? Because I'm thinking some splodges may look good. Okay, so I'm thinking these splodges. I'll grab them out. But I'm thinking no splodges. Because I think the splodges will make it much more playful. And this is kind of a serious card. Oh, thank you, Paula. I am doing well. Thank you, Linda. Went out for a walk this morning, although David was... On a meeting for most of our walk it was still a lovely walk miss louisa is thoroughly pooped she's actually sleeping beside us um i'm thinking we kind of want to leave this as it is i don't think there's anything else to add i think if i add anything else I will not like it and because we had some extra space on this side as adding the birds has evened out the the uh, balance issues that I had oh, okay let's bring this one back in I think I do want to add a little because with them we'll have three points of interest I do just want to add the circle as a sun and I did want to trim down this card so we'll just need to grab out the crush curry and I may use stamped off crush curry because I don't need to use it full strength but in the meantime I'm going to close these and then we will get to um, mounting these cards up doing any extra little bitty bobs of trimming down card fronts especially for this one because i could look i really want to add blue to this card but blue isn't in the color challenge so i've got to work within the confines of the color challenge i think shirley's going to be very impressed with what i did with her full colors yes i did add a neutral but we're allowed it's not outside the rules so if you haven't already join the su color challenge i have um we've welcomed a lot of new members 
at the moment, um, which is great. It only makes it more fun and more inspiration. Okay, crushed curry. Oh, if you hear the cranberries zombie on the trombone, you are not going crazy. Um, lavender has an assessment task and um, they're playing zombie on the trombone. Dave and I love the cranberries. So we are definitely, well, I'm definitely a 90s child. Oh, that, perfect. Done. Thank you. I was thinking about the sun. Hello, dear. Uh, okay, Bev. You and I on the same page tonight, minus the splodges. Yeah, I just think it looks better. See, this one's a bit more fun and a sort of putting everything on the card. And don't worry, even though I'm saying my crush curry is a bit bodgy, I have ordered a new ink pad. And I have tried to save this one um, to no avail. So I've got uh, the order is on its way to my house. I'm just waiting on a poor Australia Post who are not coping with everyone ordering online for the past 76 days, or 77, 77, I think it is, 77 days we've all been ordering online, and um, our poor postage service isn't quite coping. Okay. Let's just add, because we're getting rid of um, Earl Espresso, we need a titch more juice. I'm normally not stingy with my um, mist, because I really do want these cleaned and conditioned. That's what I normally like, <laughs> the bubbling up. So you can see that is now perfectly clean, so dirty although I will stamp it off just a couple of times to, to pardon me, Louisa, um, to reduce the time in between scrubbing this out in my kitchen sink. Uh, yes, I did clean that. They are my three stamps cleaned. Sometimes I like to show the cleaning process with you, especially with all my changing colours. I do, Bev, but unfortunately, uh, for the early espresso, I do. Um, I do, actually, Bev. That is a true point. I do have the empty reinkers because we sell the empty reink, uh, the empty stampin spots, and I could make my own. But today we got away with the crush curry because I kind of on this card that is a gradient a gradient of the crush curry, but I wouldn't have wanted the sun full strength anyway so but i'm really loving these two I, I do wish i had stamped the um the lighthouse a little straighter but you know hindsight's 2020 and we can't always have what we wish for and i knew as i was going down it wasn't straight Yes, I have, Laurie. I had some colour challenges. So I have done two separate colour challenges using uh, these three stamp sets. So we'll just leave them off to the side. I'm going to pop away my blocks now that we have finished stamping and more. Right, I can pop this away. Aqua painter I did use. Scissors I no longer require. Okay, see this is how I work in my normal crafting when you guys aren't on videos. I get to a point, I clear off, 
and then I go right let's go on to the next part. so I'm going to do a conservative cut and Oh, sorry, I'm just, I kind of like the white space up here because we're busy. That amount of white space definitely balances out. This one we're not going to. I will show you all the colours again that I have used. So, I'm, I don't, I'm kind of thinking... That the early espresso may make lovely card bases or card, yeah, card bases for both the cards. I'm just going to, this isn't the right orientation. But do you know? Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. No. So, next. I don't like it on either. I just think it brings it down. Although it may work on that one with a colour underneath. But this one definitely needs to be brighter and happier. But then again, I don't know. I don't know. It's got a dodgy edge there. Dodgy edge. Not helpful. I'm thinking, uh, let's just work on this one first. That one I'll put to the side. I am kind of thinking the blushing bride. So, I are in the wrong orientation, which is not helpful. Okay. I'm liking dropping things on the ground today, I've decided. I cannot, oh my god, I cannot pick up this piece of paper or cardstock. Having no nails is definitely a current curse. Okay, so if I cut this at 10 centimetres, look, I even got stuff from the bottom of my shoe. But if I turn this over, no one will know. So if I cut it 10 by here, I'll show you where I'm going with this masking. How are you? Oh, hello, Miss Amanda. Ooh, you're directing a musical. Yes, I am playing with two. Oh, you've never actually ordered a Paula. Well, hopefully I'm showing you some things today. So see how the pink just kind of works? Although we could use another colour and I'm thinking maybe the soft sea foam that's pear pizzazz not helpful I can just helps if I just move my bum hey uh, soft sea foam that will be here I don't think I have any pieces that are wide enough. So let's just cut. So if I do a little piece of soft sea foam to go underneath, I think I'm really happy with that matting because I put the, although I'm happy with the proportions, they aren't the proportions that I was expecting okay so i'll just chuck this spare paper over here um and just need to check the height 
but this so it is oh it's 12 centimeters so if I go 12 and a half oh my dear word Louisa can you stop stealing all my card stuff please please okay I got it got a bit of a ding edge but that's okay so we said 12 and a half because we are making this up as we go so I don't need that one I need this one right hello Miss Phoebe are you still on the mend Miss Phoebe Oh, I'm glad you like how I've used the textures and frames because these are my auxiliary stamp set. These, these textures and frames, I just wanted to play an experiment. So I created a bit of a scene and then I have made this one up here, two different colour challenges. But I've done this one up here a little bit different. Right. Should see me trying to I uh, use this glue last night. God, it was um oh wrong one. Um God it was messed up big time. It was so blocked. So 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 blocked. Huh. This one isn't 10 centimeters, but anyway, I will have to just trim it a bit. Ah, uh, do you know what? I cut, which is fine. I will just cut every, I'll stick it down and then I'll cut everything to that, um, to the soft seafoam edge. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. As long as everything is aligned, I'm happy to trim it down because it'll still proportionally look great on the card. Okay. Now, this is the edge we want to trim off. So, we will line up on this edge. And I'll show you a really, really neat trick so i've got it roughly lined up and aligned as i'd like i'm going to bring in my trimmer and i'm just going to push all these pieces up onto there's a lip on this um, and i'm just pushing all the pieces up so they're square and i'm just going to push this up a little bit okay so now this edge is completely square and I know everything's as straight as my cutting. Although it would have been nice to have a bit more soft sea foam, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Okay, so kind of hoping and thinking. And that is pretty much perfect note I say pretty much these bits can go in recycling I cannot believe Louisa has made this almost whole life without wanting out with the door closed hello Miss Chris oh awesome I'm glad you're feeling better So this is my second lot of videos with these. I, I do need to cut a new piece of early espresso. Now she wants out. Oh, um, yes, with that huff, you can wait. I don't, I don't uh, respond to huffing this. You can wait until I've got this card made. And then you may leave. She's very demanding. 
she's cute at it but she's very demanding so scored in half cut at half and now I'll have a side fold which is what I'm after I prefer having a side fold than a top fold these days I don't know what changed even though the crafters that influence me to do a top fold I find do you know what is they don't sit as well when you um they don't sit as well and they're harder to photograph because when I stand up and take my color photographs um they actually are a lot harder to photograph and then that early espresso just nicely frames that card although on this card I didn't like it but we'll do some experimenting with color and we may change our mind because that is our prerogative as women am I going for time I'm doing okay just need to be mindful of kids appointments which aren't till later but I've got to do some stuff to these this video oh she's coming back because i've ignored her maybe i might get to the end of the video down your hop come up i have to move my legs she only goes under the table like one way She's very pedantic miss okay so let's grab out some cardstock and see what works <laughs> the just jade looks pretty good actually hello still going yes still going sure. do you need me desperately i uh, just an appointment change from 2 to 12 tomorrow oh that works out fine yeah. yep yeah. That appointment change tomorrow is fine I think we're just gonna go with the just Jade because I like oh Louisa wants to come out she's at the door her master let her out lucky she's loved well apparently I did very bodgy um, folding of uh, bone uh, scoring of this but you know yeah I'm going to have to trim it up just a titch. That's okay. Just get this fold nicely done. I will trim a hair off it. Because I can trim a hair with this trimmer. Trims a hair perfectly. And no one knows that I did bodgy scoring. Yeah, I know, I know, and I don't know why I persisted with it for so long, Bev. I really, really don't. Now, because this card front is just going straight on, I am just going to put my dots of blue on the actual card front. So then I'm less likely to end up with glue all over my hands. Now, this card, if you wanted to, you could add some clear gems. But I think this card stands alone all by itself. And I don't think the pink nor the bumblebee would have worked quite as well as the Just Jade. So we're just going to stick with that. Just squeeze it down if I can. A titch which it doesn't want to so there are two cards lid on glue so I don't get the gummed up end of the glue like I did yesterday so colors 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 for this one I have used polish pink just jade bumblebee and early espresso okay so that's what I've used for this card. This one is going to be a little harder to read because some of these are old um, 
they're not old ink pads they're just uv affected so for this one oh my dear word can't take me anyway not even my own craft room oh i'm so glad because you know what i kind of knew what i wanted to use but i had no idea so these are really out of my brain into your eyes Crush Curry Soft Sea Foam Shaded Spruce and Blushing Bride once again with Early Espresso on both. Okay, so I might leave them like this. I'm going to see how it looks in the screen. No, it doesn't look too bad actually. So Early Espresso on both. Now these colour challenges I procured from the SU Colour Challenge. Uh, because I needed some colour inspiration and considering I really did like this colour combo I'm really happy with how it turned out so the stamp sets we used use, we used painted poppies and we used sailing home and paired it with the celebration textures and frame stamp set so this is free with purchase and with a 90 dollars order in australia you can get this stamp set for free so if you would like to purchase it i have links in my bio uh, to my store if you have any issues please don't hesitate to um to reach out via private message dm because i do check them often i do hope you are all okay on are you okay day and i have i have something i want to try i want to stamp on gilding um, i was asked in one of my video comments if we can stamp on gilding so i'm going to try that next Tuesday with the Great Tidings stamp set. So that is our goal to stamp on gilding. So I'll do a bit of preparation uh, for that uh, just to make it go a little quicker and easier. But that is what we're going to do. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great weekend. I am prepping for class um, this weekend, uh, which is not this weekend, next weekend. So getting all the card kits ready to go out to my uh, class attendees. If you wanted to join class, sign up closes tomorrow because if you're not local, I need to get them in the post. Um, and I need to get my supply list done for the girls because they get a list of the supplies I've used and all of that gents are also welcome and we do this all via zoom so thanks for joining me i'm going to have a big drink of my lunch now oh that's okay thank you girls for being here and joining me and helping me and giving me suggestions